Hello and welcome to this guide on navigating MyUNOV for essential academic tasks. Today, we'll walk you through the process of registering for classes, dropping a course, checking for holds, viewing your account balance, and enrolling in a payment plan. Let's get started. Registering for classes. Step one, log into your MyUNOV account using your account credentials. I'll go ahead and navigate to the MyUNOV um, website and I'll log in here on the current students, faculty, staff. I'm already logged into my account. However, it would prompt you to um, log in with your NC ID and your password. If you need assistance logging in or you haven't received your credentials, please contact the Office of Information Technology, or OIT, um, at UNLV. The second step is to navigate to the enrollment tile. Here, this one, you'll find various tools related to your academic journey, including the enroll option for class registration. Step three, selecting classes. You navigate to the class search and enroll tab here on the left. And you, if you're prompted, you select the term that you would like to enroll in classes for. In my case, I'll select 2024 spring. Up here, you can type in the course abbreviation for the course that you want, or you can find all classes um, related to that topic. There are a multitude of uh, classes you can select. I'll look for all MBA courses. Here you can see all the courses are listed, and you can uh, click on them to re receive more information about them. such as the days and times the class will meet, uh, the modality, if it's online, if it's virtual, or if it's uh, in person, who is teaching it, and how full the class is. And then in order to sign up for the course, you would click through it, um, and then click accept all the way towards the end. Enroll, accept. I won't do it for now. You could also just include them in your shopping cart and then sign up for them rather than individually selecting them and enrolling into them one by one. Towards the end, it'll tell you click enroll and you submit. After you select your classes, you can review your schedule by clicking up here on the view my classes schedule. These are the courses I'm currently enrolled in. Uh, however, it would show your courses for the pre pre uh, next semester that you will be enrolled in. Next up, let's talk about dropping a course. If you don't plan to um, take the course anymore, you could simply drop the course um, over here on the left side of the screen, and it'll prompt you um, to select which courses you would like to drop. So you check the box, and then you click through up here on the top right, next uh, and then drop. It's important to visit the UNOV academic calendar before you drop a course as refund dates and dates to withdraw from courses are outlined for each academic year. We also highly encourage you to speak to your graduate coordinator before proceeding as this may affect your time to graduate. If you plan on changing one class for another, we suggest that you utilize the swap classes tab over here on the left side. This function allows you to drop and add classes simultaneously and protects your enrollment. The system will not drop you from a class that you're currently enrolled in unless it can successfully add you to your new class. So you would pick one class from here that you're currently enrolled in that you plan to drop, and then you search for the other class that you plan to enroll in and follow through with the um, process up here. It'll show next. Good, let's talk about holds. Section three, checking for holds. To check for any holds on your account, you return to the success center, sorry, the uh, student center, and look for the tasks tile right over here, which will provide details on any restrictions that may affect your registration. You have a to-do list and a holds list. At the moment, I don't have any holds on my account. However, it would show um, 
if you have any holds, it would show the name of the hold, the department that puts the hold on your account. And by clicking on it, it'll show the reason why you have the hold and how to remove the hold from your account. Next up, let's talk about the section four, account balances and payment plans. To check for your account balances and enrollment and enroll in payment plans, navigate to the My Account tile. Your account balance would be displayed back here in big numbers in, if uh, you have a, ba a balance due for this semester. The Charges Due tab will outline the totals and due dates for the total amount reflected on your account. At the moment, I don't have any amount. If you have any questions or notice any discrepancies, please contact cashiering and student accounts for assistance. Next up, in order to enroll in a payment plan, navigate to the Enroll in Payment Plan tab on the left-hand side of the screen. Payment plans are available at, each of the, at the start of each semester. It's important to know that you need to enroll in a payment plan before the semester begins. We strongly advise you to thoroughly review this section. Normally, students have the option to enroll in payment plans that distribute their tuition for the semester over a span of four to five months. And there you have it. Navigating my UNOV for registering for classes, dropping a course, checking for holds, viewing your account balance, and enrolling in a payment plan. If you have any specific questions or encounter any issues, please don't hesit hesitate to reach out to the university's support services. Thank you for joining us and best of luck to your academic with your academic journey.